from the stair of it. That's smooth. Ready to play? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ruben Gilly, Jaco Arens, Netherlands. And on my left, Frédéric Kohlberg, Rasmus Flatberg, Denmark. Ruben Gilly to serve to Rasmus Flatberg. Love all. Play. Service over, one love. Out, service over, one all. Don't, please, play your leg, sorry. Correction in. I'm yes. looking at what should be a uh, One. good quality men's doubles here. Um, I'm actually sitting with a very good friend, uh, Kevin Jolly, and we're both uh, uh, just talking about old times and um, the fact that uh, Rasmus Fladberg, um, we used to compete against his father, Steen Fladberg, who was a 1983 uh, world champion at men's oh. doubles. And uh, I must say Three, that Fladberg, one. he's been a very fine singles player and he's also a fine doubles player. And uh, it should be a, um, a good match, this one. Four, one. And the two Netherlands boys, they're really uh, starting the match well. If you watch serve and then their rackets up, they're really looking for that second shot. Um, And looking quite sharp, actually. Five, one. Service over. Two. 
five. Service over. Six, two. Aaron and Jill, they certainly Seven, seem to have the uh, very good serve and uh, third shot game, which is a big, big part of uh, men's doubles. Service over. The two Danes seem Seven. to be playing in a very relaxed mode, which hasn't served them well so far. Service over. Eight, three. Resident. Service over. Four, eight. So Aaron and Jill are playing a much more Nine, tactical game, four. which um, really surprises me because Danes are so good tactically and skillfully. They've got all the power, they've got everything there. It just smacks that they think that they can take this match whenever they want it. So and, um, Five, the, uh, nine. Yes. the two boys have not read that script, so they're uh, playing to their own own side but the Netherlands boys have really uh, started the match very very well Service over. got ten a good lead of 10-5 deserved their lead it's been um, real good play Good fencing at the front of the court there. Very good rotation from the Danes there. Six, ten. But they're certainly not seem to put the pressure on the two boys from the Netherlands here. Aaron and Jill are worth their lead of 10-6. Service over. And they lead 11-6 at the halfway seven. stage. The two Danes you'll see have no coach behind them, whereas uh, the two uh, boys from the Netherlands are being talked to. And my guess is you could see a big difference in the second half of the game and seeing Fladberg and his partner really changing their pace. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven six, play. Dane's starting to put a lot more pressure on Service the match, over. but to me, Aaron and Jill have been far, far Seven. better at the forecourt and Seven. the net part of the game, where the sharp exchanges have been done, whereas Fladberg and Cole have been a, a little bit uh, too laid back. Out! Service over. 12-7. Service over. Eight, twelve. 
Yeah, we saw there. And in men's doubles, eight. it's a real series of fast exchanges around the front of the court. Four. As you see there. Fourteen. Eight. That's a great place to smash to Nine, the um, racket hip of the player or anywhere down that side and it can be from the uh, um, shoulder socket to the uh, knee as long as it's down that side and people are different on different areas. Oh that's a superb shot. Real unexpected cross point smash there. To me, the Danes are just playing a little bit defensively here. They're both excellent badminton players, but just a little bit too defensive. 16, nine. And it's always going to be the attacking pair that wins in men's doubles. Seven point gap. Some big smashes going in there, and the uh, boys from the Netherlands have absorbed it well. Seven. Took a risk at a cross court net shot that paid off. 17, 9, and 8 point gap. A good serve. Service over. 10, 17. And just a little bit laid back the uh, Danish pair. Yes. Ten, 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 yes, yes, okay, now. Nah. Eleven seventeen. So eleven seventeen, uh, six points to catch up, and I think that's pretty hard to do in uh, this quality of men's doubles. Service over. Eighteen. Eleven. Service over. Twelve. Eighteen. And that's much more what I would have expected to see from the Danes who are well capable of uh, producing that sort of point that they've just produced. Good serving. Out. Service over. Closing the point down. 19, 30. The commentator's nightmare. He just serves out. Service over. 14, 19. Uh, Dane's trying to close the gap 15, now, 90. down to four points, and they'll do very, very well if they can escape this game. Service over. 
20, game point 15. First set point here. And it's really the Danes that have made the play in the last four or five points, but they've left it too late. Because certainly these boys are good on the serve and receive game, and you cannot take chances with that. And Aaron and Jill take the first set deservedly. 21-15. Second game, le vol, play. One, love. No. Service over. One, all. And one asks if we'll see different play from the uh, two Danish boys here. Who obviously are immense talents, very powerful, really ready. Just to me, off the pace. Two, one. One. Bit of frustration coming in there from uh, Rasmus Flatberg. Understandably so. Getting told not to show that sort of emotion by the umpire. And the umpire's probably never been that frustrated. Six, one. And Aaron and Jill here are playing a much tighter game and it's all on serve, holding the net. Eight, Frustrating one. the uh, very good Danish players but uh, they're not being able to bring their skill or impose their game onto the um, two Nine. Danish players. One. Service over. Two, nine. Three, nine. 
And I actually think that the Danes are expecting to win a lot of these points where the um, Aaron and Jill are uh, very strong defensively, getting the shuttles back. It's actually surprising the the Danes how many of the shuttles are coming back. Very, very good fencing around the net there. And very sharp. They're looking to intercept. And the, and the Danes are letting it pass through them, so uh, it's much more effective doubles play from the uh, Netherlands pair. Eleven three play. Service over. And the, the Danes, although Eleven. they are very good, they're too easily giving the left away against a pair that is prepared to attack and then cover the net. So there's a much better formula coming from the Netherlands side than there is from the Danish side. And that's Five, surprising me a 11. little bit. Because I really felt that the uh, Flatberg and his partner could have um, contained them what? and really uh, been able to collect Six, the points 11. a lot easier than they are. But all credit to the Netherlands boys. They've been really uh, able to hold their own and play very, very well around the front of the court. 11, 11. And the two Danes, Fladberg and Kolber, are now making inroads 8 11, clawing back points. Oh. Service over 12 8. Service over. Nine. Twelve. Go. Service over. Thirteen. Eight. And there really is a difference around the front line Sorry, nine. play. Aaron and Jill uh, got their rackets up. They're looking for the, the net. Because these are big smashes going down. Fourteen nine. Really getting to the business end of this second set now. Very good defensive play from the two Netherlands boys. Nine. 
and 15 9 good six point gap and the way this game's going it's uh, not easy to claw that back especially when a lot of the points are being won around the front forecourt area service over 10, 15 Service over. 16, 10. And all credit to Aaron and Jill. They're not giving the lift away at any time unnecessarily. They're playing the forecourt really well and they're very, very sharp on that forecourt. And this has been the main difference in the match. Good defensive play. Look at the good scrabbling back that they've been able to do there. I think the Danes expected a lot easier points, particularly when they were attacking, than what they're getting. Service over. 17, 11. So to go 18, for 18-11, notice 11. that Aaron and Jewel never gave the lift away. Uh, they were under extreme pressure, but they were always looking for the gaps and always looking to take on the net. Nineteen, eleven. Now, Kohlberg and Fl Fladberg really um, frustrated. An eight point lead, very difficult to get back to. Service over. 12.90. Service over. 20 match points. And this will be 12. a deserved win by Aaron and Jill. Service over. 13.20. And at 13.20, a seven point cushion. To me, there's very, very little chance of them uh, getting this. 14.20. To three sets. Game. And they've lost it in two straight, 21-15, 21-14, a very respectable result against a very good pair for Aaron and Jill. Match won by Jaco Arendt, Ruben Gilly, 21-15, 21-14. Thank you.